Hi, I'm Jed Douglas, RockShox Product Manager. Today we're going to learn how to correctly route your front brake hose on your RS1 fork. Proper brake hose routing on the RS1 is important to make sure your hose is not rubbing on your wheel or tire, and to make sure the brake hose is not damaging the finish of your new fork. Before we begin, make sure your front brake hose is cut to the appropriate length. Consult the service section of the SRAM.com website for instructions on how to cut your brake hose properly. First, install your front brake caliper onto your fork. Now, route your front brake hose through the two guide clips that are included in your RS1 packet, one at a time. Once the hose is inside the clips, attach each clip to the guide bases that are on the fork by pressing down from the top. Now is the crucial moment. Let's check the brake hose routing. You might want to let some air out of your fork because we want to bottom the fork in this process. Compress the fork a few times and watch the brake hose as it slides through the guides on the fork. In the vast majority of cases, the hose should not rub or contact the tire and wheel or your carbon fiber upper. In case you're experiencing this issue, like we are doing now, you can fine tune the hose path by adjusting the banjo of the brake caliper. Please refer to your brake's instruction manual on how to adjust the banjo of your brake caliper. We have found that the hose position in the two o'clock when viewed from the caliper side of the fork is a good position for most setups. However, a different setup might be better for your bike. Try a few setups to see what works best for yours. Now, the brake hose isn't touching the carbon fiber upper anymore. If you simply can't set up your hose so it doesn't rub on your carbon fiber upper, we've included a sheet of protective decals in your RS1 packet. Apply a protective decal to the affected area. Your hose is now correctly routed. Go rip some trails on your RS1.